Follow us on social media. Support us on Patreon. All links in description below. Most strategic analysts believe that Israel has a decent stockpile of nuclear bombs. It's like an open secret. In September of 2016, a private email that somehow managed to make it into the public domain, former Secretary of State and retired U.S. Army General Colin Powell referred to Israel having an arsenal of 200 nuclear weapons. While this estimate seems to be on the higher side, there's no doubt that Israel has a mature nuclear armament program which has produced a significant number of nukes. The aim of Israel's nukes is to thwart any attempt to destroy the Jewish state. Israeli nuclear weapons provide assurance against many types of scenarios like defeat in conventional warfare and deterrence against nuclear, chemical and biological attacks. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Israel's enemy must fear its nukes. Let's get started. Number 5 Israel did not have any security agreement with larger, more powerful states, especially the United States. The country was basically on its own, and the situation was desperate as enemies from all sides surrounded it. Its condition was so severe that Israel even bought conventional weapons from black markets to equip its military force. Nuclear weapons was seen as a critical requirement as it could be ultimate assurance of safety. David Ben-Gurion was reportedly very conscious of this fact and wanted a nuke to be developed. Ben-Gurion authorized the science consultant Ernst David Bergman to work for the same. Israel's secret nuclear effort started with Bergman setting up and leading the Israel Atomic Energy Commission. France was sympathetic towards Israel. Shimon Peres, who later went on to serve as president and prime minister of Israel, nurtured contacts in the French power circle. Ultimately, France agreed to supply a large, heavy water nuclear reactor and an underground plutonium processing plant. The reactor was constructed in the Negev Desert. This was the breakthrough Israel needed, and it never looked back. Number four. According to intelligence assessments of the United States in the 1960s, it was concluded that Israel probably had nuclear weapons. U.S. tried to slow down Israel's program with diplomatic pressure and make it join the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. But these efforts fell flat in front of determined Israeli leadership. In 1969, U.S. President Nixon and Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir met and reached an agreement. As per that, the United States will no longer put effort for any slowdown of Israel's nuclear program or demand inspection. In turn, Israel would not declare or test its nuclear weapons. Number 3 Israel does not confirm nor deny having nuclear weapons, the policy of nuclear ambiguity. The policy to maintain silence over nuclear programs has been a successful strategy. It has not complicated the situation in the region but also provided Israel with the needed leverage with America. The 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action and Instability in the Middle East will ensure that Israel will probably remain the only one with operational nukes in the region in the foreseeable future. This means that Israel will have the major advantage in terms of military capability and it will be suicidal for its enemies to touch it. Number 2 The capability came at the right time. In 1973, Yom Kippur War Arab armies had upper hand in the initial phase as they were able to achieve strategic surprise. Israel was cornered and it was the first time Israel came close to having to use nukes. Direction was given to load the warheads in Jericho 1 surface-to-surface -surface missiles and F-4 Phantoms, but eventually determined Israel's forces pushed back the Arab armies and the use of nukes was not required. Number 1 There are some concrete details available about Israel's nuclear delivery options through gears of analysis by different intelligence agencies of the world. Israel's weapons are deployed onto Israel's version of a nuclear triad. Nuclear triad is the ability to launch nukes from land, air and sea assets. Israel's initial nuclear weapons were large gravity bombs. F-4 Phantom, the large twin-engine robust fighter, was designated for this task and some of these are allocated exclusively for nuke delivery and required modifications. 
as Israel mastered the nuclear tech smaller bombs were also designed these most likely have f-15 I and f-16 I fighters as the delivery platform Though fighters are not considered to be most reliable delivery options for nukes, but they can be recalled right up to the last minute, making them very flexible. Israel has very potent land-based nuke delivery option. Jericho 1 was the first missile developed by Israel for this purpose. It was designed in cooperation with France. Further iterations of Jericho were developed, namely Jericho 2 and Jericho 3. It's believed that all Jericho 1s are retired and are replaced with Jericho 2 and Jericho 3. Jericho 2 has a range of 932 miles, while Jericho 3 has a range of 3,106 miles. The range of these missiles enabled them to reach Arab countries as well as Iran. The total number of Israeli ballistic missiles is not known, but estimates by experts indicate that it's more than 20 in number. As the sea-based delivery option, Israeli has five German-built Dolphin class submarines. Experts believe that these carry classified number of nuclear tipped cruise missiles. These cruise missiles are designed from the Popeye air to ground missile or the Gabriel anti ship missile. The submarine based option is the most survival part of the nuclear triad since they're impossible to destroy with a preemptive strike and will enable Israel to strike back in case of nuclear exchange. So basically, Israel has all its bases covered in terms of quality quantity and delivery options thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section this will help us improve